hoping, my friends, battles have yet to begin. Laughter will be had in gales and floods, with not at least the will be blood. Sorrow and loss may abound We'll do our best To hold this hallowed ground As Edward is making his way back, you all are standing <laughs> Y'all stand there and there was a reverberating gecko sound I'm trying to find gecko chameleon. noises in the distance. What chameleons actually sound like? Gecko noises hard. intensify. She's a gecko apparently, so that means she's got. Uh, oh, she's actually distance. got the. Well, no, chameleon. no, no. She is a chameleon. I misspoke. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. Oh, it's, it's just canon. We keep calling her different freaking lizards. Yeah, iguana. <laughs> Cause, uh, gecko. Yeah, because I've called her an iguana. Somebody called her a chameleon. gecko. I've been calling her a chameleon. 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 At some point, Sorry. someone's going to call her a monitor lizard. The monitor Doesn't lizard, even have yeah. A computer. Call Bearded her a dragon. No, I, I do love that's chameleon, though, just because the chameleon's got those little three pronged hands. Call her a hamster. I didn't remember that until I saw Murray do it, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, look, if you got, if you got, if your Drew is going to turn into anything, something with three pronged hands, wild eyes, and can just turn into a rave. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, and the other the other thing that always makes me laugh about chameleons is like the fact that they have poor dampening capabilities. So when they Yeah, move, they're always they do they're always weird... shaking like a space engineer's construction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's my grandma. <laughs> All right. After anyway. uh, a couple <laughs> after a few minutes of waiting, you hear a couple a little bit of clattering. <laughs> Up on the uh, roof, and you look up, and Edward's there. That was loud. I didn't even there know. you are. <laughs> Hi. Veil Pictures holds up the hatchet for for Edward to see. You vanished oh, yeah, on us. It's pretty nice. Ah, I had something to do. Didn't want to implicate you all. Um, hey, you got a bag of holding? No, we don't. That's something we need to. No. Someone have a, someone have a big bag? Uh, that's one of the very few things I don't have. Actually, uh, you got DM, that's going on my list of things I want, by the way, is a bag of holding. Oh. Or a pouch okay. of holding of You get a list of things you want? Uh, oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm saying it's. I, I am on the lookout for just <laughs> no, if no. we happen to pass a shop. Uh, like, he he needs a hammer spash his handy haversack. You got like a, a, a hammer space you can put something in? You put like a little uh, pocket something or, or uh, something? Do I? What did do you? I have anything like that? Oh, like, can... What did you steal? I need someone who can carry something that's heavier than me. <laughs> I mean, Veil can, 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 can carry it. That's easy enough. The weight's not an issue. Clyde, I'm just trying I, to think I if know, I got any way of. I know you can, Clyde. You're just a chameleon right now. Oh wait, no, hang on. Sorry. Uh, you're a. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of another lizard. <laughs> you're a new lizard. Spotted. You're a yeah. spotted dick right now. Uh, you're a dick dick. <laughs> you're a... Uh, what are they called? I'm uh, me. I'm Clyde. Can't Someone want to come up here on the roof? <laughs> Throw me up. I'll go. Well, no, uh, <laughs> by the way, people don't actually understand. Okay. I'll let that happen. She says floor <laughs> up. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Oh, it's the <laughs> would, Vail Pip, would Vail Pip understand her? Because he both understands small beasts and he has comprehend languages. When did he... I thought you said he lost his ring. No, he he, he lost his ring, yes, but he still has that as a ritual and a spell. He just, oh, has, okay. to he just has to cast it every day, which he doesn't always, which means Carl sometimes can just pull stunts. Did he cast it today? Pretty sure he did. 
I know he cast it last night. Languages, he cast yeah. it the last morning. Yeah. Yeah, he did come in langu languages. Unless we had a long rest since the last time we camped out, which I don't think we did. We haven't. I'm nah, so drawn on spells from... lost. Yeah, so. Yeah, I still got to comprehend languages up. Plus, I can always, as a gnome, I can always talk to small beasts anyways, which I think a chameleon might count as a small beast. Yeah, sure. When she does so, get thrown up, though, I don't, been thrown up. I don't catch her. Because I, I know how it works. If she mm -hmm. takes, like, two points of damage, she's going to bamf back into herself. And then I won't ah. have the uh, conversation of having to convince her to turn back into herself. <laughs> so I've got to let her just get launched up and then land. Oh my and gosh. hopefully take at least hey, one or two okay. damage. Okay. Clyde, make yeah. a... Acrobatics check, which is dex. <laughs> okay. So wait, you can roll for what you have for hit points, right? Because it says 1d4 minus 1 for hit points. I don't Well, no, 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 no. I'm sa I said make an acrobatics check. Anyway, for acrobatics, cool. <laughs> I usually just go for what's on the stats. Because rolling is too much effort. Uh, okay. What did you say? Acrobatics? What is that? Yeah, so dex. Uh, uh, dex? Dexterity. Oh, eight. Okay. Mm, I'm rolling not terrible. great. You kind, of, yeah. You kind of you fly through the air. You feel so horribly graceful, and you smack a cobblestone. Uh, yeah. What, what does it say on your stat block? What one load one, hit one oh, hit point? One hit point. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, got, you all see this little speck flying up, and then all of a sudden, there's a Clyde sitting on the roof. Oh wait! Oh no! Yeah, oh, I hey, feel Clyde. big again. Oh hi, Clyde. Hi. You need something? None of you have seen me. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that just went right over so many heads. I'm gonna walk away now. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just had an epiphany. Just wondering, when Clyde is a chameleon, does she? How many pounds does she weigh? Like an ounce. Yeah. So, not much. so under five pounds. Yeah, yeah. You could totally mage hand her up. Carry her up. No, I'm, 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 I'm not That's wondering if I could mage hand her. I'm wondering if I could use catapult on her. Oh. Uh, you would need to. You did not use catapult. Casimir threw her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's already done. Tossed in an attempt to gently. Wasn't <laughs> trying to kill her. I no. I'm just thinking well, of the possibility of I'm taking dead. the barbarian and pokeballing them into the enemy, into the enemy oh. party. Uh, gotcha, oh, gotcha. catapulting barbarian. Catapulting barbarians. <laughs> That's tempting. Exactly. You you wild shape. I catapult you. You take like one point of damage from the impact. You wild shape out. Suddenly, barbarian. Ha! <laughs> with with this barbarian though suddenly being on the roof. Um, yeah. <laughs> Michael, what did I get? Well, that's a good question. Um. I know what I went in there for. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it crunchable? Hopefully not, because if it was, it would be fake. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm not chewing. 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 Uh, you ended up with five gold pieces. Just five? Nothing else? Just five. Nah. So, uh, uh, you hurt. If I didn't find money, I would have gone out with whatever I could. Oh, okay. Well, you also found an inventory sheet. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and. Uh, the license to sell at the fair. Oh, as okay. well as. Oh, oh that's better. Uh, two, 
two uh, bronze goblets. Nice. Did you go and steal from your previous employers? Absolutely. I fold up the title, uh, the, the license to sell. Uh, put it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carl, you, you never mind. You're too smart for that. Hey, Clyde, you hungry? <laughs> uh, depending on what it is, maybe. Is it like a snack? Yes. It's not. What it's is a it? piece of paper. I, but it's. I'm sure it's going to taste really, Isn't really good. Isn't paper like... It's pretty bark. edible. Yeah. It's made out of trees, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, trees are totally yeah. edible. Sure, what yeah, the heck? She'll eat it. <laughs> Hey, we gotta make a stop before we leave town. We have to go to the licensing office and tell them that there are two people in the fair operating without a license. Oh, you are delightfully sadistic, my little friend. I know. I like yeah, you. Yeah, I like me too. I'm pretty awesome. Uh, Did you plant contraband in, in their place as well? Of jerky. Well, I took um, uh, I took some money. Uh, uh, inventory sheet. Oh, huh. Wow, no, no. Really Did you plant an inventory? Did you plant any contraband there so that they get uh, extra sentences? No, you guys called me before I could get into anything, you know, super nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I'll go back tomorrow night if we're still in... Never mind, we're leaving tonight, aren't we? That was the general idea. Uh, can we wait one night? I mean, <laughs> you, you, you do have a conjuration wizard who could give you incriminating evidence that you go and plant while we go and form the uh, licensing office. Pretty please, can we wait one night? You, you know, need just, a nap. You need a long uh, nap. Well, yeah, I would just, you know, like to take my time about things. And if I want to take my time about things, I kind of have to do it in the dark. He wants to make sure his previous employers get properly shafted, Absolutely. which means he's got to lube it up first. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it goes in nice and smooth and stays where it is. Some sovereign glue would be great for that. Well, I don't know what any of that means, but it's if you okay. need it to be dark, then I guess we should wait. Seems like a good plan to me. You guys are awesome. <laughs> well... Oh, you helped, awesome you helped, too. You kept us be, from being eaten by owl bears. I think this is the least we can do. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I do what I could. Didn't he also lead us to the app? Never mind. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you guys are okay with that, then we could probably get some. There are some useful tinctures that they have in there. I mean, they're not the best. They could use some tinkering and some stuff, but. We could totally rob them blind. We Do these be, tinctures involve stuff? your feces? Uh, no. No. no those That's ones. good. Uh, according to this inventory sheet, they're out of that. Urine? Please well, say no. Please say no. The, the feces, not the urine yet. I've produced a lot more urine than feces. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Me too. Oh boy. Yeah, we can go without the tinctures. Are you sure? They're pretty healing. That's a joke. I know. Well, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we don't think about taking them all, putting them in a sack, moving over to one of their neighbor's tents, and just taking the sack and beating the crap out of everything with it. Letting the vials break, what? getting the pee everywhere, making it smelly, making a mess. What? And then leaving uh, a note saying, this is what you deserve. Love your neighbors. <gasps> oh, no. love your neighbors. Oh, no. What you want to do is take all the feces, put it on the floor, coat it with the urine, and it'll turn into concrete overnight. And then they'll have to scrape it off with a scraper. That's the thing. It's just oh. like decorating. Look, that was a, a go-to prank back at... Hey. Uh, what was it, Bogfart University or whatever it was that Vale Pip went to? If if someone's decorating know. your house with concretized shit, that's I don't know. So, something's pretty shitty about that. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe in some places it's considered really beautiful. What place?
faces. <laughs> I don't uh, know. The cow dung. It would be smelly, but oh, it's probably close, better than some places I've lived. <laughs> Who has my clothes? You have That's clothes. A good have yeah, who did you give your clothes to? Yeah, who did you give them to? Oh, probably Cass. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I... Thanks. That's five gold coin and pockets. Big things for him. There. I'm not going to put them on just yet. Still too recognizable. Thanks, though. Yeah, if anything, yeah. Casimir should be wearing it. Wearing what? The big the little coat. tiny. With oh, a little tiny, tiny little... cloak around my little cape. <laughs> okay, that that's... Well, no, it's way too big for him, isn't it? <laughs> this is the cloak it's on like... him. Yeah. It's like, it's like he wears <laughs> it, but it, it's like way too big. So well, it probably... No. It's a magical cloak. It, when you put it on, it does change to your size. Okay. Oh. It's like uh, any, any size fits all when it's magical. That's why you can get a ring and not worry about the size of it. Otherwise, we'd be going into magic shops. This ring's available, but you can only put it on if it's size nine. Nah, that's true. Uh, no, it's called. It's every magical jewel. There's gonna be a magical jeweler who's gonna resize your rings for you. You wanna mess with that arcane it's energy built in. that way? Sure, <laughs> sure. Don't worry. It's built it's in to every magic ring. <laughs> you just gotta stretch it a little bit. Just make sure you don't put the enchantment around the band. That's a that's bad idea. <laughs> or he. Mm. Oh, hey. Crazy. We are in the middle of the street having this conversation. Yeah, we should probably yeah. not. Be in the <laughs> of the street. Are we in the middle of the street? Yeah, well, yes, we are. Should we like go back? Yeah. Should we go to the beer tent? No, we shouldn't go to the beer tent. We'll be recognized at the should beer tent. We find, beer should, there. Perhaps we should go find an inn. That's a good idea. Maybe there's one with an owlbear on it. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. It'd be like an... Like an owlbear inn. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. That'd be a really cool place to hang out and tell stories and play TTRPGs, I think. I wonder if they have a back door. Great place to get eaten by owlbears, I guess. Oh. You, you think the uh, the bouncer's nice? Probably. If their bouncer isn't an owlbear, I'm going to be upset. Right. Missed opportunity there. Right, That's yeah. true. Yeah. wonder if they have dungeons. We are so they out have of dungeons. control today. I look, there, look, I'm pretty sure there's dungeons, but I don't think they were on the official blueprints. They're dungeons, but there aren't any dragons in them. Oh, that's that's incredibly disappointing. What's the point of a dungeon if there's no dragon? There is a dragon girl over in Cell 7. Oh, so it's the Monster Manual edition. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you mean the waifu catalog. Uh, oh. That's what I said. The Monster Manual mm -hmm. Edition. Yeah, you know, exactly. Look at that standard Monster, Monster Manual Waifu Catalog, same difference. Right. You got any Githy Yankee? <laughs> nah. Give me that behold. For the record, for the record, there were days when you guys were just as squirrely when I was DMing. Just for that's the record. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, we know. We know. <laughs> Usually when it was a month in between as well. You that's yeah. usually yeah, that was part of it. And I have a deep need to be just goofy at the moment, unfortunately. Goofy doofies. <laughs> we're still doing stuff, sorry, Michael. We're totally <laughs> probably derailing what you were like. <laughs> You're fine. Day. I was figuring out something. I mean, we've been trying to make it out of town, but you know. We could get sidetracked <gasps> with needs. Like vengeance. Are you now looking for an inn? Yes. Or are you yeah. still deciding? Walking, 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 talk looking for an inn. About what the inn's going to be called. Walk I think it's going to be called the Creaky Bucket. The Creaky Bucket. As you say that, you turn yeah. a corner. Oh, look, yeah, there's a lot of talking for probably 10 minutes, making up tavern names. Some of them sound reasonable, others are just way over the top. Uh, you. Finally, turn a corner and down the street you see, uh, <clears throat> uh, along with uh, a restaurant and a blacksmith shop, you do see uh, a sign that says tavern. Below it, there is uh, a painting on the sign of both a uh, stag head with antlers, and between it, there's a large bee. 
like a bumblebee and says Ooh. the bee and the deer. Bee and the deer. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, uh, Casimir, would you be a deer? And open the door. Yeah. <laughs> and it's too high. You, you have jokes. I like you. I'm a delight. <laughs> Edward is all grins ever since you've encountered him again. Like, <laughs> just, he just smiles. So he just walks in That's naked right in. Stops partway walking in and like, I should probably put some clothes on. I was going to say, why don't you put some clothes on? That's like a good plan. Yeah. Slips his clothes on. While he's doing that, Veil Pip, can you please make me a history check? History check? Okay. Let's see, what is my bonus here? Seven. Cool. I'm sorry, I don't know this particular, the lore of this particular inn, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, so Edward puts some clothes on, and you walk in. You see a. It's uh, towards midday, so it looks like a uh, crowd is filtering in, <laughs> in to the inn. Although there's <laughs> distinctions between inns and taverns that I don't know. Uh, large crowd, bunches of tables. Um, you can smell what smells like uh, cooked vegetables and meat. Uh, you see several people have bowls with stew in them. Uh, over at the counter you see a thin uh, thin human in green robes uh, pouring beer and there's a uh, a halfling and a human going around serving uh serving people, getting orders and things. All right, so we're drinking again. Yeah. Nice. On a scale, on a scale of flatland to rocky mountains, how are the uh, tavern babes, how, tavern wenches here? I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Are we talking flat or... We're, we're talking oh, the tracks of yeah. land. That are, How are the tracks of land? How are the tracks uh, of land available at this establishment? Twin Peaks not, hooters. Not that Casimir cares in the slightest, but <laughs> this is a place where so we the get the players shape simply of asking. So the players can. simply asking, just so that I can properly imagine the scene as it is before us. Uh, um, proportionate. Well, it could be worse. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go into the corner and start talking about the weave. See if I can attract anybody's attention. Oh, wait, wrong character. Sorry. <laughs> wait, possibly. do we call it the weave here? Do we call it the weave here? The What's weave? the weave? I think here it's the tangle. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's the um, electric boogaloo. Tingle. Some Some people refer to it as the weave. That, that's a, a common phrase for magic here, especially among practitioners. Uh, it's not the only thing it can be called. What would Veilpip call but, it? You tell me. I only have one option, so... <laughs> I guess I'm calling it the weave. Well, I don't know if you made up your own thing or if... Um, Fuck it, it's the sword so now. The what? Swerve and weave. Swerve. <laughs> Swerve. I'm just, All right, that's just coming up my ass. I'm sorry. Um, as as you survey it, as you're surveying the room, all of a sudden you hear a ruckus from the back room, uh, a loud a loud thunk of metal on wood, and uh, a headless chicken comes running in, dripping headless. blood. And then oh, no. runs around in a circle and collapses on the floor. Uh, another human 
a uh, woman comes out. She's wearing an apron with blood all over it. She's actually still got a chicken head in one hand. She's like, oh, not again. And she goes, oh. Is that hey. Right? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I understand. Wait. Who let the animal in here? Who let this animal? Oh, hey, no, no, this no. one's mine. Feathered. feathered. Yeah, it's still got feathers. This one's yours. How does he get clothes on? Because I put them on myself. You can wear woman. clothes. Oh my goodness, are you that talking raccoon I've heard tell about no, around town? that's a different one. He's a jerk. I'm nice. That's, that's his cousin Ricky. Don't worry, they look identical. I can never tell them apart either. I can get him if you'd like. If you want to beat the crap out of him, you totally can. Huh. Talking animals. She kind of looks at the chicken head in her hand. She's like, huh. Grabs the chicken and is like, you can eat in a little bit when it's cooked, or you can get some stew at the bar. She just goes back through the back door. When it will be cooked. I want it raw. And wriggling. That's sick. Over. I'm an animal. She pokes her head out. And if you want to insist on being an animal, are you sure you're going to be allowed into this here establishment? I'm a normal person. Thank you for That's what I thought. In. You're going to get cooked chicken. She Can I get pushes it? Pushes the door closed. Uh, Dante. That means semi raw. Never mind. Little pink you hear just, you know, Aren't you looking for... I think you're looking for blue rare. Blue rare, blue rare, please. Which is technically not safe in chicken. For you. Oh, it's perfectly safe. It's just not for normal humans. Who's a human? That's an excellent question. Do we have humans <laughs> in this party? I mean, no. aside from me, who is obviously a normal human. You are? We... <laughs> oh dear. I just, I thought you were more interesting than that. I mean, wow, that was kind of mean. Wow. Whoa. Uh, wow. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Does he look like a human to you? He's got horns. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, it's I not a horn. I have a I've never seen a horn know. human. I don't know if any of you. Have and you've been to the wrong one. part of the city, my dear. Written on his shoulders. We've camped with I him. I was on it. Yeah. Aren't they just little itty bitty horns that no one sees through the hair? Tiny little things. Yeah. Um. Some you humans have horns. Ears, though. Bluff. <laughs> Oh, really? Daddy wasn't uh, out. Gosh. Insight. <laughs> you know what? That one I'll actually let him try to bluff on because of uh, experiences the party may or may not have had. Mm -hmm. I think that's a deception roll, right? Yeah, at disadvantage. But at, you can still. At disadvantage? Oh. Ow. Okay. And then everyone else make a. Okay. Inside. Uh, I believe it's perception. Wait, no. I can never remember these two. Insight. Insight. We have been over this yeah, several insight. times. I know, and I just said I can never remember it. So yeah, you can all make an insight check if you want. Too busy flagging to down one of those servers to get food and drink. <laughs> okay. Right, so I've got a seventeen. Okay. Would you get seventeen? Clyde? 17. 22. Ooh. God damn it. Okay. Okay. And uh, Edward didn't even pay attention to what he said. Finally rolled he's, no. he's too hungry. He's Okay. Yeah, no. Nope. Uh, you don't believe him. That's some human tap horns. Well. Hmm. <laughs> but you're also not sure if you remember ever having seen him with horns. You know he has pointed ears. Waitress, waitress, do you have summer sausage? Do you have any cheese? All right. Well, I don't believe you on that one. But what about the ears? Oh, what, the fact that some humans have pointed ears? No, I don't know that I've seen any humans with pointy ears. You've never seen a human with pointed ears? Oh, my dear, clearly you're not paying attention. How many human cities have you been to? Only oh, if daddy is a elf. 
Uh, how many human cities have I been to? <laughs> this is the first. Huh? This, this is, is the, the first. first. Very this loose definition uh, of city well, here, my friend. Well, this would be my first one, actually. Ah, that explains it. No, just keep a lookout. You'll eventually see a human with pointed ears. Oh. Uh-huh. And okay. that is true. And that, that is, is true? Strictly speaking, that is true. There are human well, beings that have somewhat... I was going to lump half-elven, half-elves I, in I was, humans, that, especially that, for... Yeah. That... Buffers the, the plausibility for for, as for, well. for purposes of this experiment. Uh, yeah, half elves can be counted as humans as with humans. pointy ears. <laughs> Considering how many primates will have pointy ears, just because it's it's not a stretch. Yeah. yeah. How about the eyes? What's wrong with my eyes? Yeah. What's wrong with his eyes? What is wrong with your eyes? I, don't know. I mean, they're always behind sunglasses, so that's probably the first <laughs> giveaway. Show us your eyes, Casimir. Show us what? your eyes. I have a condition. Makes my eyes very sensitive to the light. Oh, sure, Much easier sure, to keep these on. Aww. How about your tail? My what? Your tail. <laughs> what? Your knowledge of human anatomy, good sir, is to severely I'm lacking. I'm, I'm really trying to learn. Do humans like, have tails? No, 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 that is one thing we don't have. have tails? Okay. No. Hooves? <laughs> no. We have feet. Feet. This is okay. this is God this is God from Casimir you're trying to, you know, pull us fast one to just being exasperated. <laughs> Especially since Casimir doesn't have either of those, correct? Because what? Tail or, or A tail? hooves? No, he does not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, closing fingers. Let's see here. Yeah, no, he has got. Would it help if Vail Pip put by up? By the uh... way, the two animals trying to get uh, attention of waiter and waitresses—they just kind of keep rushing past you, ignoring I, the, the animals. I'm going to pick out. Oh no, Vail Pip is trying to get the attention of the waiter. He wants cheese and summer sausage too. Oh, okay. Uh, how does he do that? But but combination of gestures and Carl yelling from under the hat. Okay. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. The halfling comes over. She's got uh, curly blonde hair, freckles, and she's like, oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, hold on a minute. I'll be right with you. She runs off, you know, it carrying never, dishes. You slimy little... Okay, where's the other one? You! I point at him and I yell you. Hey, what? This gold coin if you start attending us right now. Oh, he slides the food onto the nearest table. And comes over. <laughs> now, what do you want? Here's your gold coin. We need drinks, and food, and we need it as quickly as possible. And wherever she put that chicken head, I want it. Chicken head? Yeah, the she, head. she put a chicken head somewhere. I need it. All right. Uh, uh, you would... That's a nice trick you got with the with the talking raccoon. He, yeah, he runs off. Yeah, he's a great ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> he's just rolling Vail, with it. Vale Pip just wiggles his hand up above the bar. <laughs> yeah, that's before impressive. Before making it disappear again. These people are exhausting. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to human society. Enjoy your stay. See, this is also why I'm still here. Here. You're not exhausting. You're pretty cool. That's because human yeah. society exhausts me, too. Then how? So that makes you cool oh, so because you're exhausted? No, I'm not gonna. Hmm? Um, <laughs> a man with slightly uh, ruffled clothes, smelling of alcohol, kind of comes over to where you're all sitting and leans his arm. He's like, Yeah, humans are exhausting. You know what? I don't feel like I should share this with them. But you all, you all, I can tell, are people who like doing crazy things, like with weapons and things. I, I see she's got an axe there, and I think yeah, that you I have all an axe. could like use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should you see? See? I can. I read uh -huh. people. 
Humans, exhausting. You lot, I can read. I think He's you all human. deserve He's this. Exhausting. And he slides a uh, piece of parchment over across the table towards you all. This, this, he taps the table. This will make your week. It'll make your your year. Because there's treasure here. Oh my, that's amazing. We're here, <gasps> I feel treasure. compelled. Okay, you've just shared something okay. very, very important for uh, to us. Okay. Oh I, yeah. I yeah. don't want to leave you hanging high and dry for this kindness mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you've just shown. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give you something equally important. But oh, you wow. need to make sure yeah. not to look at it until the morning, because you won't understand it until right now. morning. Okay. It, it it takes a little effect okay. to get in. Okay. Right. Promise me yeah. you're not gonna look yeah. at it. Right. Pinky swear. No, no, I wouldn't look at it. What is it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Great. Awesome. I don't know what that means, but sure. I don't either. I just saw some kids do it the other day. Uh, he pulls out the inventory sheet <laughs> and hands him the inventory sheet. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just takes it and like crumples it and he just stuffs it inside his, his jacket. He's like, it. fair. Yeah, fair's fair. Hey, Good what's, trade. What's yeah. Back? What's your name? Hmm? What's your name? Oh, I'm Plooster. Plooster? Yeah. Good to meet you, Plooster. I'm Leon. Hi, Leon. Yeah. He, he holds up his hand to, as if to shake your paw, and then he's like, oh, wait, here. And he holds out his pinky. He's like, yeah, uh, not, 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 You're hallucinating, my friend. You think I'm a raccoon. You huh? really need to go to bed. I'm really a human. Oh, but you, as you <laughs> said, the pinky. Yeah, you're, you've drank so much. You've nearly got alcohol poisoning. You need to go to bed. Oh, Vale Pip is now Alcohol holding a poison? human cutout behind him. Super bad. <laughs> a, a cardboard cutout that is purposely blurry. <laughs> oh, Casimir! Oh. I saw him Cas swaying back and forth. Yeah, Casimir's gonna look at him and go, go. Well, well, well. This one's definitely, 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 definitely not feeling well. Well, well, well. We should get him, oh, get him, get him to uh, bed, 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 bed. I, I'm Absolutely. not feeling well. I'm, I'm not feeling well. Uh, Emilia, Emilia, can I have, can I have my room? And the uh, human at the bar says, "You don't have a room, Plooster." <laughs> but. No, I wa they said I have a room. No, oh, they're, they're paying for my room. Oh, yes. She, well, she's. I will pay is for that right? night for his room. Yes, I will do that. He is clearly, he's clearly inebriated. Very, very, very inebriated. <laughs> okay, uh, your we, tall friend there uh, might need to I cut back also, it. but sure. Okay. Uh, we'll get him up. Holden, there. take Plooster up to the to the. Yeah, the room. Oh, no, no, don't, 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 the room. My, my muscly friend will, will get him up there. It's it's okay. It's okay. We'll get him up there. My oh, you need some help right. upstairs? I'll help you, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll help you, too. Yeah, that, that, the fake on that'd the be other great. Side. Don't, don't lose this. He taps where the, the parchment is on the oh, table. Cass, Cass or Veil Pip, you, you two, one of you two, you've got pa parchment, paper, ta countertop, table. Ve Veil Pip is just going to uh, grab it with an invisible mage hand and whoop. Amazing. Okay, cool. Yeah. When yeah. we get him to his All right, uh we're going to throw him on. Yeah. It, and I'm going to just reinforce, I am a human, and my name is Leon. I am a human, and my name is Leon. <laughs> human. Leon. You just, just so, while he's doing this, Veil Pip has handed them this human cardboard cutout so he can... Like, mm. hold it in front of him while he's talking. Yeah, I put the stick partway down my vest in the back, so it just moves with me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, uh... I have questions now that we've left him. <laughs> I he starts snoring realize immediately. that you identified as a human, Edward, mm. and that your right. name was actually Leon. I'm mm -hmm. very sorry. Oh, God. Uh, you my dear, my dear, person. we were. Uh, <laughs> Casimir, you're not. Casimir's not there, is he? Oh, I'm not there. Is this is why we're well, coming. Did, did you go? Oh, this is us. You were yeah. coming down. Did you come up? Oh, with okay, us? never mind. I'm no, sorry. Okay. Uh, no, but no. So that's fine then. I'm not coming down. I'm gonna. Climb I misunderstood. Up onto your shoulder while we're coming down. I, I no, I am a raccoon. My name is. Edward. Oh. That's what I call myself, Edward. It's a name. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not Leon. What I'm trying to do is make a mess 
for Leon for him to deal with, because that man now has a stolen piece of parchment on his body and thinks that a man named Leon just paid for his room inside this place. So now there's a lot of misinformation and crosshairs going on, so it just adds confusion. And we need to go report him. We need to go report them. Kit, side trip. Uh, Wait. Uh, ah, we can... You also actually only gave him, like, a scrap of an inventory sheet with large bite... It's enough. ...bite and tear marks out of it. It's... Oh, no, 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 no. But we didn't bite and tear into that one. We bit and tore up the uh, licensing for sale in yeah. the festival. That's right. the one we ate. Yeah, that That's one doesn't exist. That's the one that I yet. made into jerky. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Tree jerky. Tree jerky. Mm-hmm. It just makes it the only kind people. that Clyde eats. Its bark is worse than its bite. <laughs> Tree jerky is actually a thing, yeah. I think. I think it I is. Don't doubt it's it. It's one specific species of tree you can eat the under bark. Byron! 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 Look at the handsome boy. Oh, he's so cute. Do a. Uh, Oh, well, dear GM, do you think we could uh, take a, a wee bit of a snack break? Clyde and Edward come back downstairs after drumming Plus- dropping Plooster off at his bed. And they come back and find uh, Casimir and Valepip and Carl at their table. What do you all do? Probably eat. <clears throat> Yes, we're going to help ourselves to that grub they have there. Cool. They got lots of nice grub. Mm. Do we have a chicken, uh, and chicken head? the server does sneak out the chicken head for you. Amazing. Uh-huh. I'm going to sneak under the table and eat it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You're going to eat it under the table? Yeah, so I don't freak out the normal humanoids who uh. don't eat things like this. It's 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 like that bird that you eat under a under a tape under a uh, cloth to hide your shame. Oh yeah, <laughs> weird French. <laughs> um, is there anything you all wanted to do, or did you want to just? Uh, rest rest the evening and get ready for a trip tomorrow. Well, I think that uh, I thought we were going to enable some more of uh, Edward's chicanery. Yeah. That was my oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. I, th- I figured we'd be discussing. Oh, right, 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 right. Chicanery, yes. And were you planning to do that this evening, Edward, or was that like tomorrow after a rest? I w- no, no, I we could do that this the... evening. Okay. I just want night because it's. Daytime. Gotcha. I want that giant flaming ball of light in the sky to go over the horizon so that I can have a. Daytime's not a full moon, is it? It'll still be dim light. Let me check. Tonight is. Uh, It's almost full. It's at like three quarters. Or, no, no, it's it's. Oh, tomorrow night is the full moon. Okay, how's the weather going to be then? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong month. Just a moment. Ba 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 ba. Game masters. Uh, the, ga- the game masters. The game masters punishment for making a world too deep. You gotta navigate <laughs> 500 spreadsheets to find the answer. It's actually fairly consistent between days. So yeah, tomorrow's the full moon. It's a very specifically solar or lunar calendar. That does make it easy. Uh, well done. Shit. Is it going to be cloudy tonight? Would it be cloudy? Hmm. You want to poke your head outside? (laughs) Yeah, sure. Why not? It's not cloudy now. Well, shit. I cast block out the block out the sun. <laughs> oh, no, no. Like, not that powerful. On the floor. infinite storm. I was more laughing at the fact that the people on the other side of the planet are suddenly just plunged into darkness. <laughs> God, what happened? What happened to the sun? <laughs> oh Jesus! 
And today we are here to present this, you know, the sacrifice of rebirth to our god of light and life. And oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> that was how we created an entire race of, you know, evil flesh eaters that uh, will, in a thousand years, take over this land. Well, they'll try to take over this land. It depends on if the the paladins and warriors of light, oh, yeah. you know, can fight them off. We shall claim this land for our own. We shall call it this land. This land. <laughs> All right. So, so, uh, boot up in a room so we can be quiet about things, or are we just not nervous about people over here and us? Uh, I'm not nervous <laughs> usually. <laughs> Usually. Sometimes I'm nervous. That was very helpful, Clyde. Thank you. Yeah. You want to go up to the room? Yes, we should probably just do that. The, uh, the other oh, two are a little okay. too busy, I think, thinking about dinosaurs. Uh, oh. No, I'm I taking them. Wait. I want to talk about dinosaurs. Let's do that up in the room. Okay, let's. Okay. Okay, I'll, let's yes, go. Let's go talk about dinosaurs. Guys, come on. We can go talk about dinosaurs upstairs. She's so excited about dinosaurs. We're not going to be talking about that. I mean, oh. she is a druid. She could probably turn into those dinosaurs, so. <laughs> Wait, could she? I just have never seen a dinosaur. I don't even enough, really yeah. know what it is. Wait a minute. Are you saying we could have had a dinosaur on our side this entire time? I think so. Potentially. Cool. She might need to have seen it to do it. You can really use your imagination. I'm sure if you so, imagine one well enough, you can turn right into it. So if we draw a picture of this, like, 30-foot-tall monstrosity with five mouths and, like, razor-sharp claws... I told her that to I'm just dinosaur. saying... <laughs> I went to if college and I have polymorph... If she believes oh. it's a dinosaur hard enough. <laughs> we could also use minor illusion to show her what they look like. That's true. I, That's true. I have polymorph, so I could just turn something into a dinosaur as a demonstration, If assuming I have seen a dinosaur to polymorph something into. You went to university. I'm sure they have biology textbooks. Oh, yeah. Probably, probably just a, a sketch in a book, if I'm lucky, though. Does this, this world even, does this world have access to velociraptors? Make a history check for me. Or oh, nature. That, that last one didn't go well. well Do we, we have a Velociraptor tech? It's a no. Right? We want a yes. Okay, nature. Oh. I can tell <laughs> you, you said nature or history? Real hard about yeah, uh, things. Yes. So I'm going right, to slap you in the back of the head. Guidance. Can I do that? Sure. I'd add a d4 to your roll. Gotcha. Think harder. Smack. <laughs> Where is my D4? There's my D4. Ooh, yes. Okay. So that's going to come out to an 18. Okay. You are aware of dinosaurs. They do live in this planet. They are typically found uh, in the forests at the uh, northern part of the continent of uh, Kazdalan. Northwest part. Actually, I should send the map so that that could be shared. Ooh, that's okay. another good map. Yeah, I've seen the map, but I don't know if I've had access to the map. Hold on a moment. Well, if you've seen it, you should have access to it somehow. Anyway, but I'll send it again. I forget where I saw it. It could have been on a video. I, I, I legitimately don't remember where I saw it, but it could have been in the briefing. Um, Do you want that in here or in the owlbear? I'm fine with uh, even mystery. sharing it on owlbear. The wild campaign and then the mob server? No, I should, good let's just do that in the, the, the mystery. Well, you could post it in the fantasy art and maps. You could, yeah, timing. As in wait four weeks There's... for when this bit is probably yeah. going to be airing. Yeah, that is oh, fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Timing. Although, 
Otherwise, context is going to be lacking for a while. Hey, did you all know we're pre-recorded? Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> little as far as it goes, the map being there is fine. Ooh, dinosaurs. Okay, I put it in the Wild Campaign Encyclopedia. Context I don't know if that's the right place to have dropped context. it for you. Dropping the map without context. Dinosaur! That's a big dinosaur. That is a context. Wait, the map context. is a dinosaur? Oh my goodness. Is that all the land? Grr, arg. <laughs> Why is the north and south compass thing miskewed? Uh, because yeah, of the magnetic like north. Are you kidding me? It's for real Mark, supposed to be like I can't that? English today. Yeah. Uh, that's his, like that's his, I'm making this up face. But yeah, yeah, he's no. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm sure I actually tilt. I must have tilted it on purpose. I don't think the stamp does it. So the only reason I could think of that is that because straight up and down is boring, which is really funny. Well, Coming I mean, if you're. Me. If we're going by magnetic north, it's going to wander anyways, so it would always be a few degrees off direct north. So, so. next time we meet yeah. Michael, we expect this map to be changed for the north to be going the other way. No, no, no. I didn't yeah. say if the magnetic north shifts. That's how it is on Earth. Oh my god! I did not realize you still had those those um, brushes. That's really exciting <gasps> to see those again. What brushes? The map brushes. These are from Incarnate. They look very similar to the ones I made. Oh, really? That's funny. Incredibly similar to the ones I made in GIMP forever ago. Oh, that's fun. No, they're not. But oh, okay. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, I thought they might have been. But yeah, no, that's that's their Friendship similar ruined. concept. No, no, it's it's it <laughs> it does not matter. I just thought it looked crushed. like it. No. My heart is breaking. <laughs> RG, RPG map trees look like RPG map trees. It, it is true. They very sausages taste like sausages. <laughs> oh no, you're right. These, like these you're right. These aren't mine. You're right. My bad. <laughs> oh, oh, I love them. not sponsored, but incarnate is cool. Yes, they are cool. And if you guys ducks. do want to sponsor us, that'd like be awesome. Ducks. I love you guys. You're wonderful. Your stream is great too. They stream. They do, yeah. Oh. They stream and they teach you a bunch of cool stuff. You should check them out. What? It's I didn't. Know I that. think it's fa oh. fairly infrequent, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Ooh, yes, yes, cool. Anyway, so uh, up in the Quack. so you guys are on the island of Beline, or yes. this. I don't know what they call that subcontinent, Big Island. The anyway, Beline, and then the oh. area like directly north of that, on the continent of Castellan. There's dinosaurs up in there, and then also down in the area near the compass and souther. Hmm. If it's tectonically mm. attached to the rest of the continent, it's uh, <clears throat> it's an island. If it's not, it's its own little continent. Huh. Oh, okay. Uh, is it just technically a continent, or is mm. there a word for smaller continent, like Australia? <laughs> Well, continent just kind of means that it's attached to its own tectonic plate. It is kind of moving around. But that's why you have really small continents like India or Australia, because they are attached to a tectonic plate. Wait, so that's... India is a continent? Yeah. I mean, it's considered a subcontinent now because it's slammed into Asia, but it was its own continent for millions and millions of years. Tectonic plates work in funny ways. It's like edges getting shoved down on other bits and bits coming up. It's kind of how mountains get formed as well. And so, then remember what I know he's, that. Yeah. what he's doing with his hands is actually being done by like orange peel skin. Mm. So like where it's crumpling in one area, it'll be opposite crumpling in the other area. It's it's orange. it's fun. It's fun stuff to look into. But yeah, India is its own continent because it's on a different tectonic plate mm. than the rest of it. Oh. That's why Europe is considered its own continent. I have never continent. heard that yeah. definition of yeah. continent before. Cool. So anyway, so, so there are dinosaurs, including, but not limited to, Allosaurus, uh, Deinonychuses, um, Brontosaurus. Wait, Brontosaurus doesn't even exist. Uh, Apatosauruses. Uh, That's even bigger. Triceratops Wait. and Velociraptors. The Brontosaurus doesn't exist anymore? What happened? Uh, my understanding, at least when I was a kid, was... Brontosaurus was created when paleontologists were like, you know what, this skull belongs on that neck. Sure. And it was oh. actually like 
It was Five a Pedasaurus or... skeleton with a Diplodocus head, I believe, mm. or some variation on mixing. So Brontosaurus, last I knew, doesn't actually exist. Although it could here, so fine, we have Brontosaurus. Okay, there was, I was just, just curious, I didn't know that. There was a time in early paleontology where the entire... The entire goal was to discover more and more and more species, so some of the guys got kind of sloppy with their field work and said, you know, they'd find two existing, well, what was basically two existing skeletons, slap them together and go, look, I found a new skeleton, even though, like you just said, it's a Diplos or Diplodocus skull with an Apatosaurus skeleton. and Othenian. It was actually already things that were discovered, but they said, oh, look, it's new. Othenian Charles <clears throat> Marsh. That is the paleontologist to hate. For crushing yes. your dreams that a brontosaurus does not actually exist. Okay, he's Charles the one. It's his, it's his fault. It's his fault. I mean, Charles, I, you, Charles Marsh! To, to be fair, uh, uh, the, losing brontosaurus, considering all of like the megasaurus we've got in the like giant fuck-off category, losing brontosaurus I can accept. Yeah. Getting all the dinosaurs feathered, I'm still kind of miffed about. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad about that. I like, like I could, at least the bipedal ones being feathered is cool. The, the raptors the I like. Ones being feathered would be weird. Yeah, the raptors I like being feathered, but like once they get big, like a T Rex. Yeah. Not I know we're in the quack. room. <laughs> quack quack. I mean, yeah. we were talking about yeah. dinosaurs in character. We okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I actually do have a map question, real quick. So Can you I? said the Cassian Republic was north of us, correct? You are actually in part of the Cassian Republic. We're in You're the Cassian the... Republic. Okay. Yeah, so you're in that. Uh, hmm? Okay, 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 okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Where roughly are we? Vale uh, is from Belen. Wait, wait, is he from Belen? Because I know no, he said he's you from across the street. No, you are from. No, you're in Belen. <laughs> oh, we're in you're currently in oh. Belen. Uh, vale Pip is from Mundav Mundavik. Is that a Mund Mundavar or Mundavik? Oh, I oh I yeah. I, I didn't realize Mundavik was on the map. There's Mundavik. Yeah, it's over by Thelande. Okay. Um, and you guys are, oh, they do you see that? Oh, I see that yeah. joke. Uh, I need to put a grid on, or a, a label of grids on here. So, on the line, yeah, do you see that line dividing it in half? Yes. So, that big foresty area mm -hmm. above that, you're right in the, towards the bottom of that. Nice. Got it. Okay, that gives me... Thank you. That's what I need to know. And on the subdivision and below that line is uh, Loristir. For some reason, that's not labeled on this version of the map. Now, where were the dinosaurs at on this map? On the continent of Kazdalin, in the forested regions north of Beline, and then over by the compass and okay. south of there. North of Beline. Is there okay. common treading grounds? So, from a... Because I know I with the, the stamps, you've tried very hard to give us a rough idea of the terrain. How tall is the compass formation? Because of the way it's colored in? Well, because it's clearly a giant... Yeah, because the compass is on the map. It's clearly just a giant you rock know. formation that uh, sticks uh, up. So I can't stop it. Fireball! <laughs> it took me a moment there. It's like... You can. Oh, the mountains right above the compass? <laughs> I, I do want to ask, though, would uh, you ever get dinosaurs in Mundavik since it's kind of close to the compass? Or would the mountain range keep them safe? Well, you might see some dinosaurs there. Okay. Especially depends on if like people bring them in. as. Okay, Okay. so the likelihood of Vale Pip having seen a dinosaur. Yeah, okay. Uh, can polymorph inside of a tavern be a pretty bad idea. Can oh, Vale Pip... Uh, like, can he use mitochondriation to pull out, like, a little dinosaur toy for, uh... Clyde? For Clyde? Yes. Yeah, sure. All right, he's going to do that and hand, uh, Clyde, uh... What would be a good fit? A Could she turn into a Velociraptor? Allosaurus. Uh, she... Oh, Stop. then I need to look at challenge ratings. Um... A, a, nondescript, I, a, a nondescript to be decided dinosaur, but some kind of um, theropod dinosaur. I think I'm also going to say she. Ooh. She can't transform into it from a toy visual. 
It, it, it's okay. I can polymorph into one later. Okay. But it's right. a very we'll bad idea for me to polymorph in here now, because... Yeah. The, yeah. What, what, what do you think when people are going to do when all of a sudden Vampip goes, open the door, or open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. I don't think the townspeople would be as amicable, so... No, I can't admit that. That's super nice, Pterodactyl. So do you still show her a dinosaur toy? Yes. We'll figure out which one she can transform into later, but some kind of theropod dinosaur. I feel like this would be the perfect dinosaur for her. Here, the, uh, what is it? Quantasaur? The Quantasaurus. That looks more like a... What? It looks like a duck-billed... Well, that looks like ducky. Getting into the room. As this yes. toy is being... Yes, presented. as we're talking about the yes. dinosaurs, yes. We're walking them like, alright, great. Uh, she, she could turn into a dinosaur later. What does Clyde look... What does Clyde do with the dinosaur toy? It's the pain in Murray's eyes. I just... <laughs> the so pain in the DMs. Right. <laughs> hey, you can A, a dinosaur toy was points. offered. What? You can wrangle us in any points, yo. <laughs> yeah. She says small. Okay. Cool. Edward. Did you want something else? <laughs> I'm confused. No, I, I, it, uh, there was lots of stepping on, as far as I could tell. Okay. And I was trying to bring us back into scene. We keep getting sidetracked by we our own ducktails. <gasps> That's a nice toy. Edward. All right. Uh, I kind of want to burn the village down. Giggles and shout.